Good morning, everyone. Friday, the 3rd of July. The weekend beckons. Today, in our reading, we remember the disciple Thomas. He's often referred to as Doubting Thomas, and perhaps that's a little unfair. Thomas was an intensely loyal friend of Jesus. He was willing to die for Jesus if necessary. But Thomas was also a very thoughtful, deep-thinking man. And as so often is the case with that type of person, he wanted clear proof before he would commit to anything. And it is that which leads to the assumption that he was a doubting person. For example, when Jesus was to go to the town, the little village of Bethany, everyone knew that Jesus would be walking into danger. And it was Thomas who said, let us go. And if it is that we must die with him, then we die with him. During the Last Supper, Thomas bursts out and says, but Lord, we don't know where you're going. So how do we therefore know the way to the Father? Thomas is caught up in trying to understand the logic of what it was that Jesus is saying. And this you can see again when after the resurrection, the woman who had encountered the empty tomb and many of the other disciples who had seen Jesus and Thomas was not there. Thomas, I believe Thomas wanted to believe. He deeply wanted to believe, but it could not be logical in his mind. And so when Jesus confronts him, Jesus, I think, with a, with a wry smile, says to Thomas, put your fingers here, put your fist here. And it is Thomas who makes the first most explicit comment of who Jesus is, my Lord and my God. And so Thomas is not doubting in the true sense of the word, but he certainly likes to know the full story, the full explanation. He wants the detail. Now, that can be both good and bad, of course, and we can see how folk quickly jump to the assumption that Thomas is a doubting man because he's always asking a question and then another question. And that's the danger that we keep asking questions and we never come to the point of faith. We never come to that point of making a decision. And sometimes it's because of our own desire for logic, as was the case for Thomas. And, and God must come and confront us, often with that wry smile. And my, the challenge to myself, because I can see myself being a little bit like Thomas, and the challenge to all of us is we cannot keep asking questions. There must come a time when we simply, in faith, say, yes, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Help me with all the questions that I still have. And so my challenge to myself today and to you is to say, what do you doubt about God? Take that step of faith and believe, because I can assure you that when you take that step of faith, those questions do still remind at the back of your mind and God does answer them. But you've at least begun your journey of faith. You have moved forward in your relationship with the Lord. Folks, take that step of faith. Don't sit and ask too many questions. It really does hold you back. God bless. We'll chat again later. Bye-bye.